guys, CJR here with another pickups video. Um, it's been a great week. I was able to pick up uh, two really nice retro scores. So um, I'm actually going to cut the first one in right here. Okay guys, I just wanted to quickly show you this pickup that I made uh, about an hour ago. I'm just in the process of cleaning all the stickers and crap off the games. Uh, I saw a posting on Kijiji classified ad here in Canada. It's been a rare occurrence that I find anything on there lately. It was uh, a lady posted, let me show you here I guess first, the N64, there's a copy of Cruise in USA there. I've had a little bit of trouble getting it to work um, and usually these things are kind of tanks so it's working now. Uh, it's working for me probably six out of ten times though so I got to get it a little bit better before I uh, flip it or trade it or whatever. came with three controllers, two grays and the atomic, I don't know, it's the blue one. Um, so yeah, copy of Cruise in USA, system, three controllers, and 12 games. So there's actually two copies of Cruise in USA. Uh, Army Men Sarge's Heroes. Pokemon Puzzle League. Andrew, what are you doing over there? You playing Ninja Turtles? You want to say hi? Andrew, say hi quick. Hi. Uh, so yeah, two copies of... Um, Oh, Mario Kart 64, actually. Uh, Mario, six, Super Mario 64, 007. Great game here. I really like the underrated game. Uh, Mickey's Speedway USA. And these aren't focusing. Donkey Kong 64. Banjo-Kazooie. Mario Golf. And there's the second copy of Mario 64. So, as I said, System 3 controllers, 12 games. Uh, fantastic pickup. Um... $20, I ended up paying $30, which is a absolute steal. And I uh, just wanted to quickly show you guys this before I ship off the stuff I don't need. All right, so after picking that up, um, again, scouring Kijiji, like I do every day, it just seems I've, I've gotten lucky. Um, so basically from the money I, I uh, got from flipping the games I didn't need from the first N64 bundle, um, I was able to pick up a really nice Super Nintendo bundle. Nowhere near the, uh, the the price that I paid for the N64 stuff, but if you factor in, I basically paid, I got all this for free after trading off the other stuff. Um, so, 17 games, um, and I also got, I'll show you here, if you, hopefully you can see, uh, hopefully that'll show up, a box of uh, 31 um, NES sleeve covers. Uh, so yeah, extremely good deal. Um, 17 games, all those covers, and he threw in a uh, Dragon Warrior manual. So I gotta th say thanks to Steve if, if you happen to be watching. Um, just kind of an old family friend um, that I just learned collects video games. So um, let me see, 17 games, all those covers for 70 bucks. So um, nothing like the uh, N64, but just a fantastic deal. Out of the 17 games, I actually needed 12 of them, which is kind of unheard of. Um, they're all Super Nintendo games. Um, nothing like super rare, but just stuff that I, I, I'm actually pretty excited. Um, Thunder Spirits is the first one. If you guys know anything about that, tell me. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's some sort of shooter, I would guess. Uh, Out of This World... I believe it's like a point-and-click adventure. It's big on the PC. Uh, Fatal Fury Special. Didn't have that either. This is really awesome. Hyperzone, he was telling me, is a pretty cool game. I'm uh, pretty excited to check that out, too. Uh, Lethal Weapon. Um, James Bond Jr. I don't know a whole lot about most of these games, so if uh, feel free to in the comments to let me know anything you know about these. World Heroes. I have that on the Genesis. I believe it's like a beat-em-up. Uh, Yoshi Safari, I had that. Uh, Raiden Trad, I've got that. Um, Super Tennis. Hey Punk, are you tough enough? Also known as Tough Enough. Uh, Rival Turf, I'm pretty sure I picked that one up when I was in the States. And then here's the Dragon Warrior Manual and the insert. I'm not sure if I need that Dragon Warrior Manual, I might. Um, Super R-Type. I, I thought I had that. Um, Rise of the Robots. I don't know anything about that one. Uh, Batman Returns. When I did my uh, P or, uh, Super Nintendo collection, somebody recommended this as a great beat-em-up 
And I have it on the Genesis, but I didn't have it for the uh, Super, so very excited to get that. King of the Monsters, I have part two on the Genesis. And uh, Disney's Goof Troop. I'm hoping that's a good platformer like uh, most of the Disney games are. Um, so that was it, 70 bucks for all that. So I mean that averages less than five bucks a game, I think. So I'm pretty happy with that score. To get 12 games that I didn't have is just kind of unheard of. And as I said, it, it ended up being free. Uh, real quick here, I picked up the Elgato Game Capture 8D, HD. Um, I did some research. This is one of the better ones. They had it on fe at Future Shop refurbished for a hundred bucks, so that's the one I decided to go with. I mean, there's plenty of debate which one is the best, but uh, this one seems to do the trick for most people. Although I did a real quick test on the PS3 with some footage from um, South Park, and when I went to play it back on the computer on my um, Mac laptop, it it was really slow. The frame rate was awful. So I'm guessing, from what I heard, you need a good computer, but I thought that would be more than enough. So it's, it seems to me like you actually need a pretty decent computer, which shouldn't be a problem because I plan on hooking it up to the main gaming section there. Uh, my gaming PC is right beside all my uh, consoles, so I should be that shouldn't be a problem. I just use the gaming PC to capture. Uh, I also picked up, I did an unboxing, feel free to go check that out. The uh, Titanfall Xbox One controller, which I absolutely love. Somebody just broke something upstairs, if you can hear that. My wife lets my kids run around like maniacs and they break all my stuff. So chances are that could have been my iPad or my laptop breaking right now because she sounds unhappy. I picked up Rengoku, uh, Tower of Purgatory was a recommendation. I've seen it many times, um, and the store just decided to grab it. A uh, really obscure one here I'd never heard of, Fading Shadows. I thought it was an RPG, but it looks like it's actually a puzzle game from Agitech. Uh, Practical Intelligent uh, Quotent. Again, recommendation after doing my um, uh, PSP collection. I see it all the time and just finally grabbed it. It was $2.99. These were uh, buy two, get one free. So, End War. I have the digital version of this. Think. But anyways, it looks a lot like Advanced Tactic or uh, oh geez, um, Advanced Wars on the DS strategy RPG kind of thing. Really cool. Uh, and every extend extra. I believe it's a dual stick shooter. I think. Um, I know I'm missing stuff. I grabbed the uh, Mario uh, or the Luigi 30th Anniversary Club Nintendo thing. There's a, I did another unboxing. Um, as I've said before, I'm, I'm going to continue with the unboxings. They're nice, quick videos that I can post, and people seem to watch them. Um, I, I'm slowly getting better at <laughs> unboxings, I think. I uh, By no means is this really an unboxing channel, but I guess I can incorporate it in. Uh, they're just easy to do, quick five-minute videos. Um, yeah, enough people seem to enjoy them, so... Uh, if you don't like them, just don't watch them, I guess. But um, that is it, I think. I, I'm, I think I'm missing stuff, but I uh, just wanted to get this in before I had to go take care of the kids for now. So, uh, Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, please uh, comment. Let me know what your favorite uh, SNES game in this pile is, or let me know anything about them. Um, as I said, most of them I haven't played. So, um, yeah, as always, comment, subscribe. And uh, check out the Facebook page if you want in the link below. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.